Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectre Comics. You'll notice I'm not sitting in my normal studio today with my Spectre banner behind me. I'm actually sitting at my dining room table getting ready to start some art projects that take a little longer and I didn't have time to do during the year. But now that I have some time off for winter break from my job, I decided to pull out my spray booth and pull out my airbrush and to start working on some projects that I've been putting off. And the project that I'm going to work on today is to custom paint this hammer handle to look like a lightsaber hilt. Now, I did one of these a few years ago that my brother-in-law has, he's in construction, and his looks like a Luke Skywalker Return of the Jedi lightsaber hilt. This one's going to be different. I printed out this sheet of lightsaber hilts from the internet, and we're going to be creating this one right here that I marked with a letter A. Now I'm not actually sure whose hilt that is, but before the end of this video, or before I'm done filming this video, I will try to look that up and let you know, but if you know, Put it in the comment section below and let me know whose hilt this is. But you'll notice I already pre-painted this with black. I gave it a, a nice black coat. That'll act as a base coat for the entire hilt. There's some black in it, but there's also a lot of silver. So I have different types of paints that I'm going to put into the airbrush, and I'm going to try to get a nice shiny effect to make it look like metal. And then I'm going to use the um, some masking tapes that I got to create some of the uh, different patterns that you see on the hilt. So. We're going to get started with masking this off. So I'm done with the first round of masking. I'm going to have to do this in stages because i got to paint some various areas and then i got to go back and mask other areas. The bulk of what I did was to mask off the area that's going to be in silver. So all the areas uncovered that are black here, at least from the ribs down, are going to be silver. So I masked it off. There's a button that's going to be here, but I'll paint that on last. And then I created some sections here to give some texture to because uh, it's not all silver. There's a couple of lines that are down the center here. The front area here, this is where I'm going to have to mask off again. This area is going to remain black, but there's going to be ribs on it. So I'm going to have to do something similar to what I did up here by uh, running these, um, these masking tape around. Now this is cool because I, I, I curved this up, up and around, and this is all going to be silver, as I mentioned. So. That's it. We're going to go on to the next step. We're actually going to paint. I haven't actually used my airbrush in quite a while, so I'm going to have to get used to mixing paints again. I'm going to have to do a couple of tests before I actually start painting. But the idea here is to make this look metallic, and then the shaded areas are going to be black. So let's get painting. <laughs>
Okay, so I finished the first coat of silver. It looks pretty good. I was fighting the airbrush a little bit. I wasn't getting good flow of paint out of the airbrush. Um, I'm not sure if it was due to the nature of this type of paint or if my airbrush needs a good cleaning because I was getting air coming out, but the paint was not flowing as smoothly as it should. But I did get pretty decent coverage. I might go back and do a second coat. And then once I start pulling off the masking tape, you'll notice the pattern that I set forth. So the curved area here, um, and then this black area here, which will again, once I pull this off, then I'll start masking it off with these uh, lines, just like I did at the top here. And then I'll just use slight variations of gray to make it look like that they're, they're ribbed. So looking pretty good so far. There's not gonna be very many different colors in this because it's mostly silver and black, but I might add some gradient to the edges right where the silver and the black transition. So let's get on to the next coat and see what happens. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done a couple more things since the first coat of paint. So the silver was the first coat of paint. I went ahead and added some gray towards the top. And when I start pulling off these bands of tape, uh, it'll be light gray and then the black and it will look ribbed. Um, I've gone ahead and added a little more black, uh, another coat of black to the top. And then I went ahead and added a couple more strips of tape to the side so that I could put a little white line towards the edge. And that's the transition between the silver and the black. And I went ahead and these strips of tape as well, I went ahead and added a little line of white. And the idea there is that the edge of the silver should have a little shine to it. So that's where that comes in. Now I've gone ahead and added a button to the top. This is the activator for the uh, lightsaber. Uh, unfortunately, I just touched it with my thumb and there's a splash there, so I'm going to have to go ahead and repaint that. The next step, I'm going to pull off this black tape after everything dries. It's still a little wet in some places. And I'm going to pull off this large piece of tape and then I'm going to do the ribs here. And then I'm going to have to go ahead and mask off the rest of this so I don't get black there. And then we're going to do the same thing here with the lighter gray and then it'll look like there's ribs in the middle. So the idea is the silver surrounds the hilt and then the ribs in the middle um, are, are inset. And then I have one activator button here and there's actually supposed to be a knob up here as well. So once I remove this strips, um, I have this stencil that I cut, which is just a couple of circles in uh, a, an index card and I'm going to go ahead and use the stencil to paint uh, the knob that's up at the top. So, the, And then down here after I repaint this black where I touched it with my thumb, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a color there. I think I'm going to add a blue dot 
and then it'll look like a button that glows there. And I'll put a little white in there just to make it look like it's glowing around the edges. But it's getting close to being done. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm excited to see what it looks like once all the tape is peeled off. So once this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the tape and we'll add the ribs to the center. So let's get on to the next step. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the airbrush part of this project. The next thing to do is to pull off all the tape and see how everything turned out. Any additional painting that I'll be doing will be done by brush. Um, and then the final step, once I'm done with all of the painting, all of the touch-ups, adding any detail, is to add a layer of varnish to the final hammer. So uh, let's start by pulling off all the tape and seeing how everything looks. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled all the tape off this and all the masking came out pretty well but there was a couple areas where the tape was a little stickier and I wasn't as careful and it pulled up some of the silver paint as I was pulling it up. I went ahead with a brush and repainted those areas to, to correct them and then I took a detail brush and some white paint and I outlined the edge of the silver just to add a little more detail to the hilt. Um, I added some detail on the back here and then I activator button. I did do a little research and found out that this uh, hilt is based on Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber hilt. So that is the design that this hammer handle is painted to look like. Um, we're almost done here. One more step, add a couple of layers of varnish to protect the paint from peeling off. I went to the local, my local Dick Blick, picked up some Gambar satin to give it a nice shiny finish. That will be it. And then, uh, so let's put the final coats on and take a look at the final product. Okay, so I went ahead and added one coat of varnish to the handle, really made it shiny and made the colors pop. They're much more saturated. It looks great. I'm gonna probably wait till this dries, add one more coat of varnish, and then we'll be done with this project. I'm gonna go post a link in the description if you wanna check it out. I've got four more of these to do, so if you have a hilt that you think would be cool to do, let me know in the comment section. First project of the new year, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, and have a great day.